Hey, what's up guys? I was just posting a quick tip on how to get ProRes out of a PC. Uh, I switched to a PC from Mac this year, and one of the biggest things is getting clients ProRes when they request it. So I was just going to kind of go over how I've been uh, doing with that and using some free resources online so you can encode ProRes on your PC. So uh, basically, a couple of websites uh, to look at. Let's see here. Is uh, FFmpeg. And what these guys are doing, a lot of open source uh, encoding and decoding and figuring out a lot of ways to get different encoders and whatnot into their, uh, into their coding. And basically one of the things that they just got done doing is ProRes. And if you want, go to ffmpeg.org, check out all this, uh, read through all this, you know, show you different uh, encoders and all the, all the open source stuff that they're doing and all that good stuff. And that's all great and dandy, but what I was hoping to find was a good uh, user interface that that utilized what FFmpeg is doing. So at this other website, another GUI, um, basically what this guy did is uh, kind of incorporated what FFmpeg is doing and made a user-friendly GUI interface. So uh, if you want, go ahead and download that right there, install it, and um, let me show you my workflow that I'm doing to get ProRes out of uh, After Effects or Premiere or whatever you want to do. So latest example is uh, here I have just some uh, animated stills that need to deliver ProRes. <clears throat> and one of the things I was doing is I was just making at a surrender queue and I was just going with a uh, photo JPEG, you know, to get a really good, uh, almost like animation codec, but a little, uh, little better on the file size. And I would always export something high res out of, out of After Effects, render that out. <clears throat> now let me find that. I had it right here. And so I have a couple of finals right here that are all, uh, Let's open this up really quick. And so this is just another uh, quick animating of a still. Let's look at the info. This is photo JPEG and all that looks great. So after I get all my finals, uh, kind of the process I was doing, which is really easy, is uh, have my icon right here already drop down, open up another GUI, and here's the user interface. So as you can see, you can add sources, you can add image sequences, and here's your output path. And uh, kind of the process I was doing, which is great to just do right in this one interface, is it, let's say I have, so I have all these moves right here and I just want to make all of these ProRes. I can just drag them all in, highlight them all, and in here you can add a different preset. And so here you have all kinds of different presets. You have for DVD, um, different audio presets, and here's Final Cut Pro. So you have ProRes is basically, this is basically a, uh, HQ, uh, ProRes 422, Lite, uh, ProRes Lite, and this is the ProRes Proxy. And then you can also do for email. So you get a nice uh, small file size that you can email. So kind of the process I've been doing is uh, taking this first by email. I'll just double click that. You can see that uh, the preset's gone to that email preset. I'll change the output path to, let's say, just my desktop for now. And we'll call this uh, tut files for now. And so I would just press go. And what it's doing is using all my processors. I'm on a i7 uh, 6 core. And so it's breaking all those up individually. And while that's going, I'll find the uh, desktop folder that we had there. And so here we go. We have our, our small file size. Let's open one up. Okay, so it's compressed, it's not very large. Let's open it up in a quick time really quick to uh, check that as well. All right, so there you go. Small little file, MPEG movie. Um, you know, can send this uh, to your client and email for approval. Now let's say um, all those are good to go and uh, you're ready to get your ProRes movies. Well, let's say you had all these again. You can just drag them. Select all this. I'm going to go to my presets right here, Final Cut Pro. Uh, let's go with ProRes HQ. Already 
185 megabit uh, encoder there. And change output path. We'll go back to the desktop here. Let's see here. Um, tip files, say OK. And uh, press go. And the great thing is you see how fast this is to encode all these movies. And we're doing, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six movies getting converted over to uh, ProRes right now. And, you know, I've delivered these to my uh, Final Cut Pro editor friends and no one's had a problem. And it's worked great in Premiere and, and everything. And uh, it's just a great encoder. <clears throat> it's just a great encoder that you can't natively get just by downloading it from the Apple side. So let's go back to the, let's see here. Too many files, too many files. All right, let's find our tut files. Let's kind of arrange this by details really quick. Type, all right. And so let's open up one of these with QuickTime again. Just gonna do control I to see what we got here. And so we have Apple ProRes 432 HQ. And it's playing looking good and everything's working just fine. So um, just a quick tip on uh, kind of the workflow I was doing lately on how to get ProRes to clients. Hope you found this useful. Um, and I will uh, include links to these websites at the bottom of the page. And uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, check us out on Twitter and Facebook and uh, stuff like that. And I'm always answering questions over there. And if you need anything, just let me know. And I'll talk to you guys later.